It's time for some more mass goes to Grandmaster. In the last episode we reached 5.1k MMR, but I have to admit it wasn't completely deserved. I got a player who left against me twice. So in this episode I want to try and prove that I can actually be here in 5.1k MMR. Let's do it. Alright, the first opponent of the day is going to be a Protoss player. Now, normally I would say nice warm-up because his MMR is a bit lower than ours, but uh, we have lost a lot of games to Protoss already, so let's try to... Uh improve our record in that department i do think the the last episode the last game without is one of my absolute favorite games i've played in this show so many good nukes and a really nice macro game now on curious minds i don't think i'm gonna get to play such a nice macro game like it's a really small map and i probably need to depend a little bit on you know getting that early damage done of course i'm gonna go for the ebay block as well and i like how uh, e even for you guys like i always get like favorite moves that i want to do again and again and i think you guys already have some really big channel favorites for example flying my factory across to do some scouting i've noticed it's a big favorite in the comments already so we'll definitely keep doing that uh or maybe not to make you guys not too frustrated this guy was a barcode i think right yeah barcode so i have no idea if i played against him before this SCV is pretty late for an eBay block. I didn't just send it too late. I also sent it maybe a little bit too far around. So not uh, the best start ever. But maybe I can double gas before going into um, the eBay now. Now what I want to do is just switch it up a lot. I want to get some games with sick nukes. I mean, we've, we've already had a lot, but it's just it's too nice to get them off. So I want to keep doing that. Now, oh, he's actually going to scout that eBay fast. That kind of sucks. Um, but I also like the games where I win with cloak and cool tactics and I feel like I can maybe even switch it up per map because yeah like I said on this map it's probably not the best tactic to go for um, the nuke style so here I might try to win with cloak now this guy is not actually trying to take his natural which is super super weird uh, this could actually be a good thing for us because if he cheeses us I mean we have seen in this show so far that uh getting cheesed has been pretty nice like i don't think have we actually lost the game to cheese like we have lost the game to like four gate blink and that would probably be still really hard to deal with but uh against like the one gate or the one base cheeses and stuff so far we have had a pretty good time now the fact that he's yeah just absolutely not even trying to uh deny that with his probe makes me think there might be a proxy uh, especially because he's sending the zealot across now now my, I can tell that my build is not optimal. Like I got the second gas before the eBay. And now I'm just swimming in gas. Which I normally wouldn't complain about. Because I'm always lacking gas with this uh, show. But this time I actually have a little bit too much. So there's a stalker. Which means there is a proxy gate on the map. Um, I could fake the marauder temporarily. To maybe scare the stalker away. That could work. Let's see. Is it here? Not here. Where did they make the proxy gate then? Okay. Well I'm just going to EMP it. I think this hold should be pretty decent. Let's see. Got, got EMP on both. That's really nice. Now the thing that sucks about EMP is that... Um, oh, he's actually killing my tech lab. Is that they can recharge their shield. So if he runs away for a bit, I might not necessarily uh, get anything done. Now I could consider going for a bunker here. Mm. Oh, he already has three stalkers. Yeah, maybe I should have actually made a bunker. Oh, I can also just pull some SEVs, I think. Oh, I'm gonna lose my tech lab. That really sucks. Uh, what is the move here, guys? I think I'm just gonna get a bunker. Like, the thing is, I'm not really rich enough to make a bunker. Okay, we got a stalker there, which is great news. He still doesn't have um, a nexus, by the way. So, maybe I'm not necessarily in trouble here. Like, why I don't like bunkering up is mostly because... I'm, I don't have an uh, expansion yet. And yeah, if I would make bunkers on one base, that feels a little bit tragic. Okay. Oh, this is a really good trade, though. Oh, I thought I was going to get that. Oh, I'm actually going to kill all of his stalkers, though. This is huge. So he has a nexus on his third base now. But I already have cloak at this point. Hmm. I'm actually going to salvage his bunkers. Maybe a little bit greedy. But if I salvage it, I can actually afford a command center as well. Now, I have a scan in 5 seconds. I need to make sure to not waste that scan. Um, or, like, drop a mill. I don't know why what his probe is doing there, though. Uh, he could also be playing a Stargate. Let's see. Um, I'm going to cloak in advance. Maybe he doesn't see me coming. I'm actually going to start a double nuke as well. Let's see. Does he have a robotics bay? I don't see... He's making a dark shrine. He doesn't have a robo. 
What? You greedy, greedy Protoss player. Guys, we have punished a cheesy barcode Protoss. And honestly, it feels amazing. Like, normally I like these really grindy wins. But when people play this greedy, knows I have ghost, doesn't make detection, and plays on a barcode, and this Protoss, and doesn't GG. Okay, that was maybe a bit much. Punishing them feels extra good. Now, that was a nice warm-up game. Let's keep it going. Another Protoss player. All right. We're getting some nice... Nice snacks here. I guess uh, the system wants us to stay at 5-1, giving us a, a few slightly easier opponents. And uh, I don't mind, guys. I know that, you know, sometimes the best games are the hardest games. But getting a few comfortable wins would be nice. Now, I shouldn't get too cocky because I've actually played some incredibly difficult, ga difficult games before against people that were uh, below my MMR. Um, especially with the bone cloud, I want to say. So, yeah, probably shouldn't uh, judge him just yet. I feel like I've also lost to players below that MMR in this same series. So, uh, obviously, we are getting better every time. I'm still so excited to see how high we can actually climb, guys. Because, um, oh, let me send the SCV on time. There we go. Because, yeah, the games at 5k started feeling very grindy. Now, we did climb up to 5.1. But like I said, we got a guy that left against us multiple times. Um, I actually checked. And the guy that left against us twice was a guy we beat before. So maybe he just really didn't want to get ghosted again, which uh, is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I, I really want to prove that I can stay at 5-1. And I'm going to take it 100 MMR. Oh, this is poor pathing by me. Yeah, he saw me if he paid attention. I want to take it 100 MMR at a time. So now I'm aiming for 5-1 to be here stable. And then we're going to go to 5-2. And I feel like the moment we reach 5-2, we are going to get really close to Grandmaster. Now, there is one thing looming a little bit here, and that is that the season is coming pretty close to an end. Um, which means that if I don't get Grandmaster before the season ends, I will have to play at least like 30 or 35 games again to make a chance. But somewhere in the back of my head, I have this feeling that you guys really wouldn't mind if you get 30 or 35 extra ghost games. Um, just, just something tells me that, you know, maybe it's the comments, I don't know what it is. But something tells me you guys really wouldn't mind if we got uh, a bunch of extra ghost games. If you are new to the show, by the way, make sure to subscribe. Don't miss out on any of these awesome ghost episodes. I'm also doing different challenges. Raven Hellion to GM is starting now. And uh, other challenges like Mass Marine Medivac to GM are coming in the future as well. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of these awesome episodes. And obviously liking the video and commenting helps as well. If you want to boost my algorithm, if you want to help me reach even more subs, you can always leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, and those things really help as well. And obviously, I read all of your comments, so any suggestions and stuff, always welcome. Never say no to suggestions. Oh, I did forget to mine that gas for a little bit. Doesn't sound like the biggest problem, but now I'm actually not going to be able to start Cloak for a while. And Cloak is a big uh, damage dealer for me. Now, this map is a lot more of a macro map than the previous one was. So here, my strategy is probably going to rely more on nukes than getting like early damage done with Cloak. So that is really nice. Now, I didn't really scout around my base, nor did I scout around his base. So I actually don't know if he's just going to take that expansion or if he maybe took the, another third already or if he has a Stargate. I actually have very little information right now. And that is a little bit of a reason for worry. Now my cloak is still going to start at a decent time. It's going to finish at like 3.20 or 4.25 rather. Um, I also want to get a bunker at the front because I don't really know what's going on. I feel like the, the fights with ghosts tend to be very snowbally. Like we've definitely had some epic fights. But at the same time, um, if there's like 7 stalkers against 4 ghosts, I will just get absolutely dunked on. So uh, it is pretty scary. And that's why I'm making that bunker as well. Now I'm actually going to run around. Very often what they do is they will keep their unit in the middle of the map and then kind of see if you're coming across. So because Cloak is not really going to finish anytime soon, I think it's really smart to just walk all the way around. I'm actually going to get these gases as well because I definitely want to be going for some double nukes. Now he sees I'm not here, um, which could probably tip him off. He, he doesn't seem to be very alarmed yet, I have to admit. Let's see, can I snipe that? Come here, come here. No, can't. Okay. Well, guys, if he's here, I'm about to get a scan, I believe. Yeah, I'm about to get a scan. He does not have... Oh, he's on one base as well. Oh, this could about... This is about to get really crazy, I think. Um, all right. Does he have detection? I don't know if he does. There's a big army. Oh, there's a robo. Ooh. Guys, this is about to get really crazy. He has a robo. 
Which means he does have detection. But... Let's see, is there an observer here? I actually don't know if there's an observer there or not. Let's see. I could, e I could EP this as well. It might be the better choice, actually. EP gonna do a lot of damage. And he's not really gonna get enraged on my ghost. And I think this kind of looks like a hold. He's gonna recall. Um, is that another Nexus? Or... Wait, was that an observer I saw? No, I'm actually tripping a little bit. Was that another Nexus or did he recall to the main? About that, I'm not sure. I don't see any units leaving his main base. So there we go. I'm seeing them now. <laughs> well, there's no Robo here. There's no Observer here. And now we use the Recall, guys. He actually can't use the Recall on an Observer. Oh, no. That's why I have no money. I actually used most of my scans just now. Okay, let me go here. I want to play this very safe. He has no economy, so I don't really have much to worry about. Um, I can actually get that War Prison. That would be huge. Yeah, he has no workers left. Now, I just need to make sure to be very solid. Prism on the dam or the damage on the prism is really good. Now, let's pull some boys here. Okay. I feel like he shouldn't be able to kill me. Uh, so, that's really good. I still haven't seen an observer, actually. I'm probably just being very blind. Get a big EMP on everything. I missed the immortal, actually. That kind of sucks. Oh, the, the prism is going to die now. That's huge. Alright, okay. I, yeah, not the cleanest execution by me. I think I definitely could have defended this a little bit better. I still feel very awkward with the management of the energy on these ghosts. Like, an EMP is 75 energy. So if I EMP, I can't really cloak. But, yeah, I mean, maybe, it should, like, EMP does so much damage. But technically, if they can't detect your units, they can never kill them. So it's actually a bit of a tough decision between having their hp or just using your invisibility but we played two really nice clean games uh both of their opponents decided to cheese me and i think that's the best thing about the ghost series before you guys will probably agree the ghost series has proven pretty much uncheesable at least by protoss and by zerg uh although i feel like a bailing was would probably wreck me but it has proven uncheesable so far and that is our strong point now let's see if we can get a nice macro game going as well all right, a high MMR Protoss. All right. And it's on Pride of Altara. It's the map of the Proxy Ghost. Now, I'm very tempted to actually do the Proxy Ghost build. But like I said, I really like to keep as much variety in my episodes as possible. So I would love to get a macro game here. Though, to be fair, guys, if they cheese me, I, I don't think I'm the one to blame, right? Uh, both of these guys decided to cheese me instead of taking their base. Now, on this map, I would eBay block two. But I think I've probably talked about this before. But if you eBay block a Protoss or, or Zerg on a map with a gold, they could take the gold instead. And it could actually be bad for you. But now my, my brain just decided to eBay block anyway. And I'll explain you why. And it's because um, if they take the gold, I should be able to make better uses of my cloak. Because they're, you know, it's going to be spread. They have to defend this and this instead of just like one. A united front, I guess you could call it, which is the natural ramp. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to have medevac soon. I I don't think if you send the probe normally, it crosses the watchtower. Like, it actually goes by here, I believe. Or maybe it barely takes the tower. I'm very experienced at playing this map because it's bad for Terran. So, um, all right. I'm not going to make the eBay yet. I don't want to cut an SCV for it. There we go. Now, by his probe movement, we will be able to see if he's... Okay, so he's going to take another base. And I think... Or maybe not? Okay. If he takes another base, it's very likely to be the gold. Uh, which we do have to pay attention to. Okay, he's going to send his workers. This is the standard way to hold it. And I'm actually okay with this, you know. It's not going to be the best eBay ever. Because he found it relatively early. But at the same time, it is some damage. I'm definitely annoying him a little bit. And a benefit of this is... Is that I can cancel the eBay and make my Ghost Academy a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, every, everything counts, I guess. Now... Maybe I should keep my SCV around to see if he's actually going to take the base. He hasn't probe scouted me himself, which is a little bit suspicious. But maybe he was just sending out a very late scout. Like the probe he was sending out, it looked more like a scout than something that was going to make a nexus, right? So maybe he was just sending out a really late weird scout that is designed to dodge a reaper, basically. Now... I think my plan is going to remain the same. I've executed my build pretty cleanly so far. I actually took my gases in time. So I will be able to get my cloak out. Now, do I have the balls to go across the map is the question. He's going to see that I have a tech lab. 
I'm... Move, please. I don't want to reveal my ghost. Go away. No. Why are you here? Leave. Thank you. Yeah, that's all you have to do, guys. You just ask, you know. It's never a problem in StarCraft 2. People are so nice. If they're bothering you, just ask. And that's all you have to do. Now, wait, he actually left completely. So he's not, he's not going to see my CC or my ghost. Now, I've said it multiple times, but I feel like he should be suspecting something weird now. But what he's suspecting is probably not a ghost. Now he, now he suspects ghost, I guess. But before that, I feel like ghost is probably the last thing you think of. I'm going to have to make a depot. I need to be careful here because it's always possible that he has like two stalkers. I'm going to do the exact same move as always. But this game, I actually have to prepare to go into a macro game. Because this guy is not cheesing me. So it's not going to be a similar game. I still have to make a bunker though. And actually, I'm curious guys. Are you, are you guys surprised that the strong point of the ghost is to hold cheeses? Because... It's really not the first thing I thought of when I started doing this series, you know, like, oh, yeah, ghosts are really going to slap down those stalker immortal proxies and stuff, you know. Uh, personally, I didn't really expect it, but maybe you guys did. I thought what it was going to be good against was going to be against Zerg late game. Oh, he actually scouted me. I, well, I do have cloak, but I don't have a scan, so I actually cannot go in quite yet. Going in would also be really scary. Um, I feel like we had a few times before when they were just ready with an observer and I wasn't able to get in. So maybe I shouldn't risk it here. Or I could preemptively scan, but that uh, also seems a little bit stupid. Now, I'm going to go your uh, guy's favorite move, and I'm going to fly my factory across. And this time it actually has a purpose instead of just dying. Um, and that purpose is, is then I want to put it here so I can nuke this base from behind. That is the plan. We're evolving, guys. Our strategy is getting better and better. Now... I think, yeah, I should probably go for a double nuke before the third base. Sounds the most logical to me. Actually, if you guys have tried this, um, I would also like to know what your most successful strategy has been. Is it actually like the mass nukes? Is it the cloak? Is it like the, the double nuke timing in particular? Like, what is it that has made this strategy work for you? Or if it hasn't worked, what has been the closest to working? Like, I'm actually quite curious. No, I might actually have to add a second barracks here. I want to I wanna make a third CC. But I feel like I'm being very greedy because I haven't gotten any damage done yet. Um, let's see, I think it's time for a double nuke. There we go. I do have my two guys out. Um, I'm surprised that I haven't seen anything from him yet. I guess he's just playing really passive. For obvious reasons, to be fair. I, I did open with a one base ghost and... Does he even know of a natural? I think he does know I have a natural. I'm pretty sure he saw that with the probe. Now, where's the observer? Is there an observer on my base yet? I feel like there should be by now. Now, I need to position this factory the perfect way possible so he doesn't um, see it with his gases. There's a probe. He's probably still very confused. And now he sees that I'm at home. This is a big moment. Maybe at this point, he thinks I'm at home and he will move out with his units. And then... Okay, let's see. I don't actually need to see anything. I just need to see, like, the area, if that makes sense. That's all I need. There we go. That should be a pretty decent nuke. Uh, what is the next step? It's probably just making some more ghost academies. Like, this game has been really passive. I'm also gonna go out. And... Oh, you might have seen... Oh, I showed him the factory, I think. I think it's gonna hit, though. Oh, this is what I'm scared of, guys. One kill only. Okay, that is not the greatest nuke of all time. There we go. Oh wait, I don't I don't have a I don't have a freaking scan right now. That sucks. Maybe I can oh I see the observer though, it's right above his army actually in this case. Oh this one might land? No, also not, okay. Unfortunate. Hmm, how am I gonna deal with this attack? I think I just wanna make some more nukes really. I could actually go in here with these uh with these two ghosts. I think it might not be the worst idea ever. Let's see. No. I... Guys, it's not looking super hot right now. I have to be honest. Yeah, I did reveal it. Can I get it? No. Yeah, the observer range is just a little bit too big, I feel like. I won't really be able to catch uh, his units. And he's doing a good job with the micro as well. He's not letting me surround him or anything like that. Now, maybe if you're the luckiest person on Earth, he walks into this nuke. I'm actually just going to let it finish, because you never know. Okay. 
Hmm, where is he? He's not here. I could sneak out some more ghosts. Um, and also this is the right time to sneak out a SCV so I can go for a proxy starport. Now, ideally, I actually get some bunkers down here. Let's see. Yeah, the only reason he can't kill me is because I could snipe his observer. Like, in terms of raw unit strength, it's not even close, you know. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff I'm scared of. At least there's no disruptors yet. Like, when the disruptors come out, uh, I'm really going to have a tough time, I think. Now, what I want to do with this counter is actually snipe an observer and then nuke both bases at once. I think I do have... I do have two nukes, yeah. Alright, maybe I can get another CC down as well. I do need to expand at some point. Let's see. Oh, it's too much. Oh, I'm gonna try. Whatever, guys. Oh, no. A 500 IQ observer recall, I guess. Oh my god, even the warp in. Jeez, man, he's playing well. Credit where credit is due, guys. He is kind of owning us so far. Uh, we need something big to come back into this, I think. And that thing could potentially be um, the nuke drop. Let's see. I just want to see if he's moving out. Maybe scare him a little bit. Yeah, that would actually work, I think. Well, he's still coming, so maybe not. Um, let's see. I only have one nuke. I, I feel like I need at least three nukes for this to work. Okay. Nice. That's good. I'm going to make a third nuke and I'm actually going to send three of these guys out. Like I haven't done any damage, which is really bad for us. And that's why I'm going to try. Now we do have um, a little bit of a setup here now, finally. This has been uh, a little bit of a tough game so far, guys. But maybe there's still hope. I think I got three nukes on the way. I'm actually going to make some turrets here so I don't die to a prism. Uh, that would be a bit of a shame. I think there is a chance... Let's see. Yeah, they have roughly 100 energy. I could actually go for this. Um, oh, he's into my natural. Yeah, come here, guys. Okay. Here we go. Now, on this map, it's a bit more likely... I could actually take this base instead, I feel like. Probably be a little bit better. Uh, on this map, it's a bit more likely that he has a pylon there, sadly. But maybe... Maybe he doesn't notice. Okay. Ooh. Getting a few nukes in here at least. Okay, we nuked this production. That's nice. And I got a decent trade there at the top. Okay. Starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, this base is actually kind of getting fried right now. That is really good news. There we go. Not really has any pylons left. <laughs> Wait, I should kill that forge probably, huh? And the twilight. Do I have enough DPS for that? Yes, perfect. Okay. Now, these are all really good distractions. And that's really what I need. Get a few more nukes here, perhaps. Hopefully, I can send a few more to the top. Like, I think more than raw damage is an amazing distraction. And now he's going to have to remake pylons. Probably going to remake a forge. And that's going to take a lot of time for him. I definitely learned a lot from my game against Whiskey Jack from the last episode because I feel like I was struggling despite being ahead, but I learned a lot from it. And a really big thing is the distraction, but also... Um, oh, I, they were actually cloaked in the medevac, so they have no energy. But also, I need to chase his army with my ghost. I can't just fall back and hope to split. Like, these ghosts are fast enough that I can actually kind of, like, attack him um, and fall back when I need to. Now, at this point, I have a bunch of bases. I could make a sensor tower here, too. Now, what's really scary, guys, is that he has a Colossus. And Colossus will absolutely dunk on Ghost. Like, that's not even a close trade. So, that's going to be a little bit of a rough one. I have max amount of nukes here. Let's see. I mean, he can try to kill that. That's not going to happen. Um, PF is not the strongest thing ever, but they are pretty good. I feel like I might actually want to pressure a bit. Just to like... Maybe like reverse the rolls a bit a bit and distract him. For my nukes instead of using the nukes as a distraction. That sounds like a pretty reasonable tactic. Okay. Yeah, there's a little zealous which I find a little bit funny. Um, let's see if he can get in here again. Okay.
<laughs> now this is a freaking drop, guys. Tell me you've seen a better drop than this. Okay. Yeah, this attack looks terrifying. Oh! Okay. There's a lot of Archons. Okay. Escape, maybe? Nice. Well, everything is depowered here. Like, he has two observers. If I get those observers, I would still kind of own him. Okay. Oh, you're, you're allowed to fight, guys. Don't worry. Let me get some snipes off. There you go. Need some more barracks as well. Yeah, these he knows the Colossus are terrifying. I'm actually going to turn this into um, a planetary here. Oh, these are alive. No, don't die, please. Let's see, is there an observer here? Probably not. Hey, he thinks they're dead. That's good. I could actually go for the move. The move, the play of the game, guys, right now. This nuke. Oh, no, actually, he, he went back for this. Okay, fair enough. Oh, it's still a decent distraction, I would say. It's gonna land. It's not gonna land. Eh, I'm just gonna let it land. Why not? Everyone likes fireworks, right, guys? All right. Uh, again? Pretty sure they waited for that one to use it. Um, eh, I'm, I'm not here, guys. Relax. There's literally nothing going on here. Actually, he, he literally made a... A cannon next to it, so I guess <laughs> I guess he knows what's exactly what's going on. Um, should go here. I'm just I feel like I messed up my hotkeys a little bit here. Okay, can I can I hide anywhere? I'll nuke this pylon right here. You can actually see that ghost perfectly. But um, okay, I've done a lot of damage so far with these nukes. I feel like I'm gonna try it again. I'm just self nuking Like, his army is terrifying, and for that reason, I'm self-nuking. I don't know if that ghost actually hit something or not. This one might go ham. I think he saw it. I feel like I saw him retreat. Out of it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that army is just a little bit too big. I'm actually going to sacrifice this position. Um, I did get my enhanced shockwaves, which is really good against this army. But this is going to be my distraction. <laughs> the Arch I, I think it's really funny he made the Archons, by the way. Like, out of all the units that he could make, he made Archons, you know? The only unit that Ghost actually completely dunk on. <laughs> oh, yes! Can I get one Colossus? No. Wait, there's no Observer here. Well, he has Observer in the back. Okay. I have five nukes. This could actually be... Uh, this could. Uh, okay, we're going for the highlight play, guys. The quadruple nuke. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is actual art, guys. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Is it gonna be an absolute waste of money? Probably. But it's still cool. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> and it's gone. And the Archons are gone as well. Well, guys, that is... That is a freaking... Four Colossus right there. Mm, I guess he saw my nuke here. Okay. There we go. I don't have a scan. Okay. Can I get the observers? And they're gone, I think. The observers are gone. Let's go! Oh my god, the Immort is getting one shot! Can I catch the Colossus? Okay, not quite the Colossus, but that was a hell of a trade, guy. Dude, I've, I'm getting really intense in this game, because this is... I feel like we're playing another Giga Banger here. Now, I'm just, as always, I'm completely out of gas. Um, am I mining gas on all my bases? Probably. Not 100% sure I am. I need some more medevacs here, guys. Uh, I need gas here. Let's get that gas base. Get some turrets down as well. And maybe some turrets here too. Okay. Um, I have one nuke. I would love to use it to nuke that base in the top. I don't actually like that I'm sending my... Uh, my medevac out. Because like my, my units are so low. 
I actually kind of need those to heal. How many SCVs am I on? 74. I can totally make... Shit. I can totally make a lot more uh, SCVs than that. Hmm. His army still looks... Oh no. Did he find my starport? Yeah, here we go. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a legendary nuke, guys. One of these days, we'll, we'll actually we've already hit a legendary nuke, so never mind that. Okay. okay. Nuke that as well. Hmm. Yeah, he is dealing with all of my nukes very well. Can I beat this army, guys? Why is he still making Archons? <laughs> there's any any unit I'm comfortable against is an Archon, man. Like, come on. That's crazy. Okay. The Colossus are terrifying, though. High Templars as well. That would be fine, too. Don't mind that. I mean, I have 190 supply of freaking Ghost. Ghost SCV. Um, so my army should be very good. <laughs> Yo, these fights are epic. Guys, guys, is it happening? No. <gasps> yes. No. Why are you teasing me like that? Come on, man. You can't be doing me like that. What's with the tease? That was about to be the biggest nuke in history. Well, I am max. Dude, I, I wish I had gas. I'm just going to cancel these ghosts. I need more nukes. Oh, I think we almost hit him again. He needs to stop teasing us. Imagine if EMP could actually, like, kill an army. Like, I would have killed this army, like, ten times already. That would actually be sick. I mean, to be fair, then no one would make another unit than a ghost ever again. Because that's just, uh, you know, that would be a little bit much, maybe. Okay, I'm going to get another four ghosts. Yeah, this sucks. Let's see, I want to do another, like, quad nuke. Kind of thing. But the, uh, the Colossus is just too terrifying. I mean, I'm maxed. If I'm ever going to beat this army, it is now. Okay. Does he have an observer here? I actually don't know. Oh no, I'm missing one nuke for the quad. Oh no, I thought I had... Shit, that sucks gonna kill this now i think oh is it gonna be a fat one though oh not bad guys okay what a game huh is is it, there's one colossus army standing in between me and winning this game basically is there an observer here i don't have scan wait how do i not have scans i actually lost all my orbitals please land there we go. Okay, we are, we are going to kill that base, which is good. And I have a bunch of nukes on the way as well. I really should have kept upgrading. Because I'm actually... I need these ghosts to fight. They're not just nukers anymore. Now they're actually my army. Now I did get this base off, which is sick. Let's see, I have another four nukes. Um, I think... That's, I, I'm actually surprised I haven't hit his army though. Like, you would kind of imagine at some point... One of these would have hit his army. But uh, not quite yet, guys. Not quite yet. Okay. Look, is this base misplaced? It looks a bit weird. I don't think it is, but it does look a little bit weird. Oh no, he's there again. No, 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 no. Frick. At the MPs. Okay. That's a nice nuke, I think. Yeah, it's another big one. Let's go. I don't have nukes. I need some. Nukes are just going crazy right now. Okay. 
I don't have another one though. Oh man, guys, where's this going? How many? This this ghost has 40 kills. 41. Oh shit, he's on to me, guys. I think yeah, he's found the perfect counter to me at this point. I think we have one thing left to do, uh, and that is just try massive, massive, massive counter attacks because we are simply not gonna be. Where are you guys going? The psychos. We're not gonna be winning this game um, in a head-up fight. He has mass colossus, and there's just not that much that we can do against it. Keep nuking. One time we must hit, right, guys? Guys? Oh, almost on the Colossus. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of YOLOing. Like, he could easily catch these uh, ghosts, and then I'd be sad. Maybe I can go. Wait, I have an idea. I'm going to go for a nuke in the back. Maybe he, like, retreats. Guys, guys, let's go! Yes! <laughs> now he's gonna run into the other one! Oh my goodness, no way! <laughs> oh man, we have actually done it, no freaking way, guys. Nine Colossus. Oh, my heart's going crazy again. What have we done? That is insanity, guys. I cannot believe it actually worked, finally. We needed so many nukes. We needed so many freaking nukes, guys. Oh man, what a game. I think I know this guy, actually. I'm pretty sure I met him at Home Story Cup. Uh, <laughs> GG. Oh man, God, this was actually an insane game. This was maybe even better than the episode of the last game. I felt like, once again, uh, when I start doing less commentary, I'm normally always talking. I feel like at this time, I was actually quiet sometimes, and that's when you know the game is really epic and I'm really intense. 55 ghosts. Let's watch it again, guys. Uh, I was definitely up in supply, I would think, because I was maxed. It just like, he, his army was just... He had a 200 army supply of proto stuff, guys. 11 colossus against 62 ghosts. In a head-on fight, I would get absolutely smashed. But the nuke of a lifetime saved our asses. I don't think we could have ever killed this army without a nuke, guys. Let's see. What is his supply? 176. And it's gonna go down to... 71 supply and one nuke! 27 kills! Oh my god. How much was it? 71 did I say? And then this is gonna lose 3 colossus, I think. Yeah, another 3 colossus go down. Oh my god. Wait, where's the observer actually? Where was he killing my stuff from? Oh, he wasn't. It was just a splash. That's actually sick. The one ghost that's unclothed killed like the four other ghosts while not having energy. All right, guys. We got three wins today, all against Protoss. We got two really short games. And then this absolutely amazing banger with the fattest nuke so far. Maybe 71 supply down the drain for a Protoss. We had no other way to win this game besides nuking the army. And we actually did it. And I'm very happy. Hope you guys enjoyed this game and this episode as much as I did. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.